we looked at the final dying moments of a nation that God had birthed himself, that he had nurtured in tremendous love over the centuries, but that had turned their back on him time and time again. And even during this last period, when the danger was so imminent, he sent his prophets, his messengers, Jeremiah and Habakkuk and Zephaniah and others, pleading with the people to open their hearts to Yahweh, to turn away from their sinful ways, their idolatry that they had so embraced and fallen in love with, to turn away from it, to turn back to the Lord. But all those pleadings and warnings were ignored for the most part. By 605, when Nebuchadnezzar was there at the gates of Jerusalem, Jeremiah had been preaching for 22 years, so this was like his halfway point in his ministry. And there would be another 23 years before the final overthrow of Judah and Jerusalem. And during that whole time, 42 years of ministry, I think it was, he fearlessly stood against the spirit of the age. The people of Judah had long since given over to that spirit. They loved the darkness. And the spirit of Babylon had already infiltrated and taken over inside Jerusalem before one single Babylonian soldier stepped through those gates. Well, finally, after many years, his patience having been exhausted, the Lord finally opened the door and allowed this Babylonian system, this Babylonian king, this Babylonian army to come in and assault and defeat his people. You want darkness? I will let you have darkness. You have proven time and time again that that is what your heart desires. You want darkness? I'm going to let you have it until it is coming out of your nostrils. I'm going to send you to the darkest spiritual pit on this earth where the spirit of Babylon resides and emanates from. And you are going to stay there for 70 years until you learn to abhor idolatry. 